What happened to the alien Hitler who turned the world into a river of blood and turned the great cities into piles of rubble in the Second World War? Someone said he might have escaped to Argentina via Denmark. There are different stories like this. But the more established story is that he and Eva Braun decided to commit suicide in the underground bunker they were hiding in Berlin. When we collect the statements made by several people who lived with Hitler during the last few days in this bunker, we can understand how Hitler's last moments were spent. Trotto Jung was Hitler's private secretary during the war. Based on her experience describing Hitler's last moments, the film Downfall was later made in German. This film most accurately recreates what many believe to be Hitler's last few hours. It has also added a comment from the real Trotel Junge. Oder dass ich ihm nicht verzeihen kann, dass es die die Schrecken dieses Monster nicht rechtzeitig erkannt hat, dass es nicht durchschaut hat. Intoxicated by continued military victories, Nazi Germany's top military officers thought their victory was permanent. But they didn't see that the war was turning around after a moment. He tried to hide it from Hitler even if he saw it sometimes. Everyone starts panicking when they hear the sound of Soviet Allied artillery firing. It was on April 20th, 1945. It was Hitler's 56th birthday. But it was not something to be celebrated with pride. The Soviet Red Army was closing in on Berlin in a very triumphant manner. At that moment, there was nothing left for the German Nazi army to do. This terrible message was received too late. High German Nazi officials deliberately hid it from Hitler. This made Hitler even more angry. It was suggested that the best solution was to leave Berlin and flee but Hitler flatly rejected it. Then the only option left was to choose death. Meanwhile, Hitler came out of the bunker where he was hiding for the last time to present awards to a group of German Nazi child soldiers. The open air was always dangerous because of the rocket attacks of the Soviet Red Army. He crashed back into the bunker. Like all leaders, Hitler was in Berlin's main underground bunker. This concrete building, which was strong enough to withstand bomb attacks, was built underground and was equipped with all necessary health facilities as well as enough space. But now the air in the bunker is tense. Day and night are dark without difference. Everyone seems to be living in a region of continuous darkness. Everyone spoke in a whisper. Hitler's anger seems to have subsided now. In the meantime, Hitler's closest official, Minister of Information Joseph Goebbels, brings his wife and six young children to this bunker. The children were very happy. Meanwhile, Hitler signed the marriage contract with his 33-year-old girlfriend, Eva Braun. This marriage took place in the underground bunker in a very charming manner. No one knew exactly what Hitler was thinking. Almost everyone involved felt something. Hitler must have made sure that you would never suffer the ignominious fate of his political friend Mussolini. Benito Mussolini, the leader of the Italian National Fascist Party, fled to Switzerland due to the weakening of his power, but could not escape. On April 28th, he was arrested and shot dead. This news had reached Hitler at that moment. The decisive day has arrived. It was on April 30th, 1945. 
Hitler bid farewell to all his staff who had remained in the bunker. Everyone had given up on life. There was anarchy in the bunker. First, Hitler's pet dog Blondie was killed with cyanide. Then Hitler and Eva Braun go to their room and close the door. A moment later, a gunshot. Hitler had shot himself in the head and died. Eva Braun's life was decided by a cyanide pill. Hitler and Eva were last seen alive by Rockesmisch, the radio and signals officer in the Berlin bunker. He says that he saw the two bodies of Hitler and Eva after they died. I was in the next room when Hitler shot himself. But I didn't hear the gunshots. But I saw dead bodies. Hitler was dead with his head on the table. Eva was dead next to the sofa where Hitler was sitting. Eva was wearing a light blue dress. She was holding her chest with her hands. Rokosmesh says so. He has also written a book about these experiences called The Last Witness. The dead bodies of Hitler and Eva Braun are taken out of the bunker, doused in gasoline and set on fire. That night, the six children of Goebbels, who did not know anything about this, had to drink a medicine given by their mother before going to sleep. In no time they all fell into a deep sleep. A capsule of cyanide was inserted into their mouths while they were asleep. It was by their beloved mother Magda. The next day, his wife Magda's and his own life were decided by the pistol in Goebbels' hand. The rest had no choice but to accept defeat. Berlin is falling. Most of the people arrested by the Soviet Red Army are executed. Trotter Junge. Hitler's private secretary, and Rakus Misch, the radio and signals officer in the Berlin bunker, were lucky enough to live longer. Hitler's last few hours are revealed by their memories. Hitler had a lucid dream. Make Germany the greatest nation in the world. He was walking through a river of blood to his dream. But unexpectedly, on April 30th, that dream will be shattered. Here you are walking through the middle of Berlin on a day in July 1945, a few days after Hitler's dream was shattered. Remembering that Hitler's dream was only a dream,